Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file that is supposed to look like this. And this is when they saved as an SV, SVG and imported it. It looks like that. And then this is the way to send me a file when you have a problem. Green layers removed and all the hidden pieces. And you can see, well, not so much there, but there's a, there's a line there that doesn't need. There's a bunch of lines that doesn't need. So what I would do, I am going to, her nudge factor was set on 13, so I'm going to leave it there. Or their nudge factor. I get so many emails, I get. Uh, anyway, that's what it needs to look like there. So we're going we're gonna to nudge both these out of the way. And I'm going to left click and right click, and you see those lines that they're having. Now, I'm going to draw a red or a box around it, and that I can't stand, but I've got it filled in with black when you do that. Now we're going to take the Smart Fill tool, and we're going to fill in the outside of that box. I'm going to fill it in with a blue, and then that gets me the shape and takes all away all those inner lines because the smart field tool could not get into those inner lines. And I just, when I was doing it the first time, I noticed it's got some lines that aren't filled. So there's a couple ways you could do that. You could do it the easy way or the hard, well, they're both pretty easy. So I'm gonna left click and right click that line. And then I'm gonna just get rid of this one. And I'm gonna nudge, I'm gonna go here and go to object and break the curve apart to get rid of that box. And then I'm gonna nudge this guy over and I'm gonna grab this green color with the Smart Fill tool, go to the Smart Fill tool and grab the op dropper and grab that green and then place it in there. Well, there's a couple of places didn't get, but you could just go ahead and fill them or you could fix them. And I'm gonna fill them right now and show you how you could fix them. So now we're gonna left click. Well, I don't wanna left click. I'm gonna right click, no outline. And I'm going to nudge that over. And then I'm going to go to object, order, back a page. Look, object, order, back a page. And that's what they're wanting. I wish I would have kept the original, but that's, that's what they're wanting. And, and you know, it's not, uh, everything's perfect. If I was going to print it, I would clean this up a little bit. Um, you know, especially this one right here needs, it's got some rough edges, but that's in the drawing and nothing I've done. If you look, it's just got some rough edges. And a lot of people, I sometimes I critique stuff I shouldn't critique, but they asked. So I'm going to left click, right click. And I'm also going to go to here and make it a hairline. And I'm also going to make it red just because I like working in red. And I'm just going to lightly, you can do it two ways. One, we could just delete that node. Okay, there's a problem. When I smart filled it, I got two sections. So now we're going to try to grab one and move it over. So now I've just got the one. And they're, they should be identical. We've already taken away that square on that one. And we have it on this one, so we're going to go with this one. Hope I didn't move too fast there. And there's those broken parts. So this, well, I left them behind. And they need to be there. So let's uh, nudge them over. And we're going to fix them this time. So it'll all be one color. But this is a little bit different animal because the fact that if you take the virtual segment delete key, it deletes too much because this was drawn afterwards somehow. So we're gonna change our nudge factor to 0 0.001. Grab that item and nudge it just barely up and over. See what happened, then I can cut it. Take this item, barely nudge it up and over. 
We're not really changing. We're just making those lines go past the other lines. And then of course you got a little bit of a line there. <clears throat> and you could fix these uh, nodes, but if let's try this, let's try it without really repairing the nodes. See, that just irritates me when you can't do that. Take the smart fill tool and fill it in now and it worked. You, so you don't have to fix the nodes, but we're going to go still going to go back and just kind of smooth this up a little bit. I mean, if you have X or above and you make this really little, well, that's actually too little, 0.1. And this doesn't have to be done, but, you know, if, you, if you're taking pride in your work, of course, it's a plant or a flower, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want any sharp edges, I would not think. And see, I'm just going over it real fast, and there's a part with a problem. You know, I guess that's fine, but... And then parts that are different, you have to reselect them because that part is actually different than the other part. And this also shows you that you have two lines there, which we do. Well, we got partial two lines. So what, what I would do in this case Let's set that on like half of an inch. Grab that and nudge it down. And then we've got the complete item. So over that bar, we... Uh, yeah, so we'll just be able to cut this out to get rid of those double lines. Basically, I, I didn't clean up the double lines from before. And then you just need to take your two-point line and just go from that node to that node. That's, and one reason it's kind of good to use a smoothing tool is you'll see if you have double lines, there won't be any more double lines uh, because of we um, and just smooth it up a little bit. You know, make it, let's make this, we can either raise our size or raise our intensity you just need to make sure you can see nodes when you're doing it. So click on it, see some nodes, start moving it. Sometimes it's real hard to tell you even move anything. Let's go point two, make it a little bit bigger, and you can see the result a little faster. I would just kind of go over the whole flower idea. You know, there might be two lines on this part. It looks awful thick. And there is. I said there wasn't going to be any more. Yep. Two separate lines. And that's probably because when I smart filled it. But now you can click on it and see the, I don't know if you can see that on your screen, but the nodes pop out. And then just kind of go, everything else looks good. I mean, that part of the flower really looks good. That looks pretty good. Everything else looks good. This is a little weak on a t-shirt, you know, uh, for you're going to have just a touch of color. You could take the shape tool and move these, grab those two nodes and just move them over a little bit. You know, give a little bit more color to this and you'll see what I'm talking about. You know, like right here, you could delete that node. You know, maybe delete those two nodes. Then let's smart fill it. We've still got that same color, but we have a leak now where we didn't before. That's because we had double lines, so we need to fix these. I didn't mean for the video to be so long. Shift select both lines, grab them. And I actually got a, a tool called a hotkey, but it's just go to Dockers, Join, Curves. And you do that. That's probably the only leak I saw. And it's not such a bad idea to always draw a rectangle, make it not a fill, 
I'm hoping they have that, uh, not purposely. See, we still got a leak. So where else did we work on? You know, we worked right there. See, that actually looks like there's two lines there. I'm gonna select it all. Well, that's, oh, I'm selecting the box because <clears throat> the box was on the top layer. So take the, take your shape tool and then select that Select both those and hit apply. Maybe you can hit those and hit apply. Now it shouldn't leak. I'm not gonna draw a box around it. It's not gonna have a safety net here, but there we go. Then move that out of the, okay. Remember our 13? So I nudged it, but I need to nudge it back because I need to put this back to 13. Now move that out of the way. I think I, see in, you ever see something like that jump? Just go backwards, you know, because you need it right on there. Nudge that out of the way, and then you don't have any lines, and then nudge it over to your color, object, order, back of page. And that little bitty piece that we fixed, at least it's got a little color to it where it didn't have any much to it before. Sorry it took so long. Thank you for watching. Hope that helped.